All right. Passive Crimson Curse. Bria's attacks and the ability to play a stacking bleed that heals her for a portion of the damage dealt. Perpetually hungry, she gains increased healing based on her missing health, but lacks innate health regeneration. She will also heal for any remaining bleed damage when bleeding enemy dies. Um, I think a key thing here is that uh, there is no specification on it being uh, champion related. So uh, basically, this is going to work on minions most likely. She will also heal for any remaining bleed damage when a bleeding enemy dies. So it's enemy, 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 or everything. All the language here points to the fact that uh, it, it works on minions. So already uh, we can counter out of being a support. Most likely support is, is done. Additional notes. Her, her abilities are health cost. Passive also applies to minions. Counter is grievous wounds. Counter is grievous wounds. It's like skin spotlight out here giving gameplay tips. Jeez, the auto attack animation is crazy. Look at that backflip. Look at that backflip kick here. It's kind of kind of cool cool design though, I think. Okay. So we got Warwick Light so far. Bria leaps to unit dealing damage as well as stunning them and breaking their armor. Briar will stop prioritizing enemy champions if she casts this ability on a minion or a monster during the effects of Blood Frenzy. You can queue to allies, abilities point and click. Mm. Okay, so already know we physical damage, physical damage, uh, breaks armor, not magic resistance. Uh, stop prioritizing enemy champions, so let's just check what W is. Bria leaps forward and shatters her pillory, entering a blood frenzy to cause her to relentlessly pursue the nearest enemy. While frenzies, she gains increased attack speed and move speed, and her attacks deal damage in an area around the target. Bria can reactivate this ability while frenzied to take a chomp out of her target on the next attack. <sighs> next attack dealing additional damage based on their missing health and healing her based on the damage dealt. You're expected to max this ability first. Dash range is about 300 to 400, and if used in a, in a wall, it will try to put you over it like Flash. You can cancel the Frenzy by using E. You can't use QSS to remove the Frenzy. Alright, so you CC yourself, but you dash. Uh, you cannot cancel it, you, you can reactivate it, you can't cleanse it, can't QSS it, the Frenzy is there, um, you're locked in. It's just you're, you're taunted by yourself, but it's it's like a true taunt because you can't do anything. So let's see here. Bri will stop prioritizing enemy champion if, if she casts this ability on a minion or monster during the effects of Blood Frenzy. So you can queue during it. You can queue during it. That's pretty big. Briar will stop prioritizing enemy champions if she casts this ability on a minion or monster during the effects of Blunt Frenzy. Which also means that you can change the target that you prioritize to different champions with your Q. The, this, this AoE portion of the spell, I'm assuming that I can like... Blood Frenzy, the cannon minion in the middle of the wave, and just punch everything. And then the question is, if my AoE attacks, if my attacks around the target apply bleed... Because it doesn't look like they apply bleed, the AoE. Because that would be so OP, you know? It's like, imagine you, you hit the cannon, and then it's like your AoE, AoE attacks applied bleed, and you heal off of it. That would be crazy, man. Briar focuses on mind removing blood frenzy and channeling energy into a powerful scream that damages and slows enemies. While charging, she takes reduced damage and heals for a portion of her max health. A fully charged scream knocks back dealing additional damage and stunning enemies that hit a wall. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad at all. Already, I have to say, already, this kid sounds so broken. This kid sounds so broken. How fast does he charge that shit? Can she move while she charges it? 
I'm assuming not because it says channel. All right. Let me see the R. Briar kicks a Hemolith, marking the first champion hit as her prey. She then beelines straight to them, fearing other surrounding enemies on arrival, and enters a state of complete hematomania. Hem hematomania, yamatomania. She will pursue her prey until one of them dies, gaining the effects of blood frenzy as well as additional armor, magic resist, lifesteal, and move speed. This ability is near global. Reaches from Dragon to Baron. The ability has a global SFX, so you know it's been cast. You can use E to cancel the frenzy. If the enemy zonias you, will target something else until it ends and then focuses back onto them. Who let the Riot August cook? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to say this sounds really I don't know, this kit sounds insanely broken already. I most likely will I my first idea is I will probably jungle. I'll just jungle. Bro, look how big the fucking fear is. Look how big the fear is. Look how large. It's the whole screen. It's a bit zoomed in. But look how large it is. A uh, good mid laner, I think she will have a... Like, if she's good mid lane, it just means that she's giga broken. Because this champion should be punished by ranged strong laners, plain and simple. Like, r strong ranged laners with poke should fuck this champion. If she's good mid lane, it should just means she's the most broken champion in the game. If she's okay top, it also means she's broken. Because if this champion, if this champion inherently, like, this, this, this champion should be jungling. If it's strong enough to lane, it is, it's, it's just gonna be broken. Uh, this game reminds me of Overwatch, and Overwatch is such a piece of shit game. Guide the wolf, man! You don't R this? R him, man! R! Yeah, what is this? Oh, look at that! He hits it! He hits him! Currently, looking at this, maybe I need to experiment a little bit with the build. Right now, it doesn't look that... Uh... Guys, what are you talking about soloing Gwen? L look how this Gwen is playing. This Gwen has half HP, eat into someone with Mercs and Blade. The only thing you focus on is 11 to 9? Are you mental? She doesn't R, and she's fighting against a champion that has Mercs and Blade. Oh, the Ruin King. I saw it for one second, boss. Yeah, then maybe don't uh, jump to conclusions. My mind right away when I read the kit is I was thinking Trinity Force.
Why do you all this, mate? The on click stun is kind of stupid. I'm not gonna lie. I would not buy. I would not buy the vine. I would probably want to play Trinity Force. We can check, I guess. We can check. Wait. When he did this, pickaxe 25. Yeah, base AD looks okay. Base AD looks okay. It, so, so this champion just has three dashes. Four dashes. She just has... She just has four dashes. Did you guys see how he played this? He W'd into Bite, had Q on cooldown, R on cooldown. Bro, look at the size of that, man! Look at the size of that ult! Wow! I'm not gonna lie, as a design, the E looks really stiff. Like, the E looks very stiff to use. Stiff? Like, it's not smooth at all, you know? It's like, you're playing a melee champ with four dashes, and then you have to fucking channel, you know? Like, on Scion, it makes sense. On Scion, it makes sense, because you are this bulky potato, you know? You know, you're this fucking, you're this fucking giant, you know? But E, e seems strange to, strange to me. You really have one too, but but that one is I guess I guess she does, but it 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 feels a little bit different difference. Could you 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 can be very snappy with it, you know? You can be very snappy with it. I didn't review K Cop games just yet. I guess the main question, right, is I'm curious how much armor that you actually reduce. I'm assuming it's going to be percentage armor. Percentage armor, um, how much armor it reduces, because if she removes enough armor, then buying heavy bruiser is kind of sick. It's, it's very, very sick. I wonder, I wonder how fast you can like snap E, you know, like how much can, how fast can you snap E? That's, that's my question. Ella said that their biggest damage spell is E. I'm just gonna wait until the numbers are out. When the numbers are out, well, then I can comment more, you know? But I'm not gonna, like, fish for things that aren't official yet. Like, they're probably gonna, like, tune things and check out things. So, so we will see.